So now to work around with is in and is out, first of all, I'm going to draw something over here, something like a car, which I want to apply my animation in. So very, very rough car right over here. Control Z, all right. So very, very rough car. So what I want to do is I want to animate this from left to the right side, and I want acceleration and deacceleration uh, to be effective. So that is what is in and is out is used for. So I'm going to go over here and select my car right here. And I'm going to use my center pivot, make sure that the pivot is right at the center, right over here. So this is something we saw in the last lesson as well. So I'm going to take my transformation tool, my animation, animate on current frame is actually turned on. So let me do something like a 30 frame animation. So I'm going to press F5 to increase the frame like this. And you can see that this is the first frame. So let me just uh, select the transformation tool, move it around a bit. And then on the 30th frame, let's just drag it out over here. So you got a plain old animation over here. So if I were to play it, you can see that the animation is there. So let me just uh, nudge this around till here. And let me play this around by looping it out. So you can see that this is the animation that I have right now. So everything is moving um, on its own pace. There's no acceleration or deacceleration going on. So if I want acceleration and deacceleration, I need to access the A's in and A's out settings. And to do that, I need to click on the keyframe right here, right click on it, and then there's an option co called set A's for multiple parameters. So it might seem complicated, but it's very simple. So if I were to actually go over here, you can see that there's a line. And now uh, it's being applied in motion, rotation, scale, and skew. Right now, I'm just going to leave it on for everything else uh, to make it simple. So right now, uh, what we are doing is that we are working on with this keyframe right over here in the beginning. So you can only see the start. And right now it's straight. And because it is straight, uh, we actually have a smooth motion. But if you want an A's out type of a thing, like uh, the car is uh, slowing, um, like uh, slowly taking in speed, then you need to go over here the, and click on this little uh, red icon right here and pull this towards the right just like this and you can see that there's an easing in going on right over here where the car actually starts out so you can actually go backwards as well but usually i don't want to do that so just go straight over here and there you go there's a bit of a slow start just like that over here slow start right here so if i were to apply this you can see that now the frames are all squeezed up onto the left however if you want the uh, car to start very fast then you can actually move this forward over here and press apply and now you can see that the frames are more over here so let me just go over here and then uh add in an ease in because i want it to start actually slow just like this so now the frames are all squeezed over here you can see these little parameters right here uh which is actually squeezed out so now i'm happy with this so i'm go just going to press apply and next and what that does is it actually uh, takes me to the other keyframe. So apply previous takes me to the previous keyframe. Apply next takes me to the next keyframe. And this is how you can see everything out. So now here you can see that since this is the end keyframe, you can only see the end part. So if I were to actually go over here, just like this, and now you can see that there's A's in as well. So if I were to press apply, now this happens. Now if I were to close this, and if I were to play this out, you can see that the car starts slow and ends slow. So that is what easing in and easing out actually does. So let's say I want to add in a third keyframe right here. So I have my car in the center. If I were to move it up right here, uh, you can see that a third keyframe has been added. I can also go over here and go to um, uh, go to the set A's for multiple parameters and you can see two lines over here one for the one that is coming before so you can see that you can set it like this so I want the car to slow down so I'm just going to do like this and press apply and once I do that I'm going to close this now so I'm just going to apply and close this you can see that this is how it works so you play it so it actually slows down over here but speeds up really quick over there but what I want to do is I want to speed it uh, up quite slowly as well. So I'm going to go over here on to uh, set A's. So I'm still on the same keyframe. I'm just going to move this handle over here as well. So what happens now is that slowly starts in, slows down a bit, and slowly starts in, slows down a bit. So I'm going to apply this, 
I'm going to close this and let's play around and see how that looks like. So you can see that it actually slows in and slows out right over here on the center as well. And just like that, you can set A's in and A's out in your animations. So this gives a whole set of new controls for you guys, for uh, everyone to explore and to uh, apply advanced animation con uh, concepts. So that is how you can use A's in and A's out inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.